Okay, Robert, we're going to review this report here. <sighs> what we got going? This is the Nagani one. So, yeah, that all looks good. Good. Too many periods here. Let me backspace there. Okay, so the black support columns appear to there. Okay, this is what's supporting the trailer. So back over here, the foundation walls. These are not really foundation walls because it, the black columns are supporting it. So these are would be called the perimeter walls or the skirting. There we go. Skirting. I was replacing having ventures. Let's see, I don't know if that necessarily needs to be in there, but we'll leave it in there. I mean, you can't see any pictures of the exterior, so I don't know. Yep, very good. Column's good. Good. Let me just read that one more time. Good. Okay. Exterior. All right. Well, again, we don't need to. That's pretty immaterial. Everybody can see that. So, time to not so many hours. We'll keep the important, the real serious things for the summary on a house like this. Okay, this is this is more just general maintenance. Take it right there. Look like they put the wood siding over everything. So
Hopefully this did a good picture. How was the, uh, the grading? I always want to comment on the grading. So was the grading pitched away from the house? Was it snow covered? Vegetation should be trimmed back. Grounds were was there a, this is the general one that we use. Grounds were no brows are a negative grade away from the home. So you don't use those comments there because I don't know. I'm just going to leave it undone. But I like to we need to answer two point five. Good. The roof looks good. Great. Flashing. Move that one front. Let me just put chimney and vents. Have cracks. Recommend resealing with flashing time. Resealing cracks with flashing tar. Very good. Good. What's going on with that plumbing vent here? Let's see. Let's see what it looks like here. What'd you do? You just pulled that pipe out of there? Man, you can't be pulling pipes out of the roof, man. What is going on with you, man? Huh? Okay, we'll put that as a repair. That needs them. We already talked about the roof guitar flashing, so recommend repair. No gutters, so inspected be not present if there's no gutters. Okay. There were no gutters on no no no. Okay, good comment. It appears there may be an up slope in the drain piping connecting to this sinks to the drain. Repair adjust as it. Very good. Were they working? If these were working in the master of the So let me put this comment first of all right here. You said the water flow was good at several fixtures operated at the same time. Good. Now we'll go over here and we'll say in the master bathroom the water supply fixtures were loose and not attached to the shower wall. We'll just leave it at that. They can deal with it. I don't even think that needs a repair. They're working. what you got going here right there yep
Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the, uh, the water heater. Now these water heaters, if ever you got a a water heater, um, it's for in a manufactured home, you gotta look at the tag. It's gotta be a manufactured water heater, at least a gas. If it says gas water heater, it's gotta be a manufactured home water heater, specifically for water heaters for manufactured homes, and it'll say so on the tag. It should have a vent on the bottom of this water heater that you can see in the crawl space. Okay, so let me see if we see anything underneath here. But typically, you'll see like a metal vent under here. I think they see right over here. That must be it right there, maybe. Eh? That might be it right there. See it right here? That's probably the exhaust, the vent underneath the water heater. So good. So it's probably just want to make sure you're aware of that. All righty. Where are we going here? Okay. So, yeah, if it's dripping, it needs to be, it needs a new TPR valve. Either they need to repair it or do something to it. It shouldn't be dripping, of course. So, good, good, gooey, gooey. Yep, I see, yep. So, it looks like that's what's going on there. Okay, let's separate these comments. This comment here is a standalone comment. So you got to create a new comment when you put your electrical masthead in. So that should this should be your first comment. This comment should already be here, this one right here. Then when you want to put in your electrical stuff, you just go right over here and create a new comment right there. Okay, good. It looked like there was a main disconnect on the side of the house. Um, let me get back over here. That box here, wasn't that the main disconnect box? <laughs> Did you get a look at it? Or Typically, that's the main disconnect box. So, you didn't mention anything about it. Usually, I will mention that the main disconnect box is right there I think I even got it in this comment here main disconnect box was present at the exterior of the house right there so let's keep an eye on that okay back with you here we're not able to turn on our test exterior outlets and light fixtures on the front of the home why weren't you able to not quite sure there was no power okay Okay, what do you mean by a live wire? Okay, so we got two different things going on here. Was there a cover on this? What is this? This is just a... Okay, so this is just a hole in the wall where they had run some wires. and Okay, they got it. that should be, of course... Splices should be in the junction box. I see what you're saying. Okay. So let's move this one. Create a different comment for this one.
that's not even a panel that's just an opening in the wall So just this one should have an R. Yep, good. Okay, so what are you saying here? The guest bathroom while there was testing and would not trip when test was initiated. So found that other bathroom kitchen outlets did not trip. for the investigate well let me just put a repair get rid of that okay not present right here NP Let's separate this comment. Cut. Okay, and then we're going to create a new comment over here. Kind of like we did on that other one with electrical. So this is a standalone comment. So it was a high efficiency furnace. Good. Too many recommended valuation by contractor. Too many, too many, too many.
<laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, sorry, I got this sidetracked here. So let me just, so insulation, we got a comment for, for this right here. Where is this at? Anderson. Who? Anderson. Where? Uh, I don't, what town was that in, Jack? I can't remember. Yeah. Yep, yeah, got here again. Water's not on like I said it would be. So. Is that the se second time he's been there or no? No? All right, River, can, they call this, can you call and see if we can get it turned on while he's doing the inspection? Okay, well, we have to call the client and tell them to keep working. Yeah, so just do the best you can. Right. Really right. In the meantime, we can call and try to figure out if we can, you know, if they want us to turn the water on. There's going to be a fee, of course, you know. If it's just a matter of turning the valve on, you know, and filling everything up, probably $50 or something like that, you know. But if they need to turn on at the street, then the water company needs to be called. They can usually get right out there in a small town, so. <clears throat> All right, what do we got going on here?
Monday mornings. Okay, so we want to add this one here, this comment here. And so right there, that's a typical comment there that we always use. And then we got this one. Yep, good. Good. Good one. Huh? Okay, good. about that yeah I'd rather have it exposed so um, Okay, good. All right, and then the septic was not inspected. Did you refund the guy the money? What did you do? You didn't say nothing about it. I might have a comment for this. Let's see. I mean... Did you not? Let me look. Make sure you didn't charge this guy. Two ten thirty five. We go open up ISN. Two ten thirty five. Okay. Very good. Yep, that's fine. Turn it on. Leave it on too, right? Yep. Yep, just turn tell them turn it on, leave it on. Okay, so I see you did not charge him for the septic. Very good. Awesome. So let me. So we can just put here. Very good. So we'll put not inspected. Very good. What's going on? What's he complaining about? So we need to see if we can get the city out there and turn the water on, and then there will be uh, a charge, probably a $50 charge, I would think. 
for uh, for him to start water. So. Oh, okay. It's either a fifty dollar charge now, or it's a hundred and fifty for him to come back out. So. <laughs> Right, so. Well, it is. The valves are open, so unless it's frozen, but it the heat's on, so I don't think it would be frozen. And the valve is open. The main shut off valve is open. Oh, no problem. Yeah, you think you can get them out there to turn the water on? You say, yeah. Great. Okay, well, he'll be there for a couple hours, so. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah, give us a... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. If you need to get there, let's call us and let us know we can let Pat know the inspector. And, um, yeah, and then the house is completely winterized over the side, too. So we, we, we winterize the whole thing. Okay, great. Thanks, Lee. Yeah, you can go. Yeah, I heard it was great. Hey, Pat. Okay, I talked to uh, Danielle, on the, the agent. So she's going to call the city and see if they can get out there and turn the water on. So, and then uh, if they can get the water turned on. Then go ahead and winterize it and go ahead and put it all to the road. And you leave it on. You're going to leave the water on. Okay, so hopefully they can get there. Uh, you know, I told them you're going to do this, but hopefully they're going to do the inspection. So, um, you know, um, well, they're gonna, she's going to call back and let me know whether or not they can get the water turned on. So, as soon as we know, we'll let you know. Okay, thanks, Pat. Okay, thanks, Pat. 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 Okay, you still there? Did I leave you hanging? Man, it's busy. Monday morning. I should have never did this on a Monday morning trying to review these reports with you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I think we're done here. So let's go to uh, upload. Nope. Let's see what we got here. We got to answer this here. Um, okay. All right. There we go. See how this.
this looks here. Okay, Ooh, nice cover photo, very good. Alrighty, uh, yep, yep, yep. Kind of flick through here real quick, make sure all the pictures are good. Get down to the summary, I'll take a look at the summary. Good job on this report. Yep, good job. All right. All right. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Skirting was made up of consultant on the inside of a hall on the west side. The paneling has been removed. The paneling has been removed. It's, so there, there was foam insulation board installed on the exterior. You know? Somebody can grab that. So, okay. I don't know if this first one needs to be in this summary. That's more of a cosmetic thing than anything. So we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and, yep, good, good job. All right, I'm done with you, man.